This video is to verify Kirchhoff's voltage and current law. The trainer consists of a series and parallel combination of resistances. Now let's start the experiment and make sure before doing the connections, rotate the power supply knob in the anti-clockwise direction, so that the supply is zero. Let's verify Kirchhoff's current law. Now connect the voltmeter and power supply. Connect the ammeter in the 10 ohms branch and short the other two branches and complete the circuit. Now switch on the trainer kit and set the input voltage to 2 volts. And note down the current I1. Now switch off the trainer and connect the ammeter to the ammeter symbol and short the 10 ohms branch. Again switch on the trainer and set voltage to 2 volts and note down the current I3. Now connect the ammeter in 33 ohms branch and short the ammeter symbol branch. And again set the input voltage to 2 volts and note the current I2. Now you will see that the current I3 is equals to I1 plus I2. That means the sum of current flowing into that junction is equal to the current flowing out. Hence it verifies Kirchhoff's current law. As the Kirchhoff's current law is verified, let's move forward to Kirchhoff's voltage law. It states that the directed sum of the electrical potential differences around any closed network is zero. We are considering the 10 ohms network, so do the connections as shown. Now connect the voltmeter in the input and set the voltage to 3 volts. Now disconnect the voltmeter and check the voltage across 5 ohms resistance. It's 1 volt and then across 10 ohms resistance. It's 2 volt. Total is 3 volts and now applying the KVL the sum in a closed loop is 0. Hence Kirchhoff's voltage law is also verified. You can also verify in other loop. Thanks for watching this video.